had to pull this out. This thing has been sitting in the garage for months. I think I've only driven it like maybe twice this year. That's crazy. You know, sometimes when you have something real nice like this, you want to protect it and you want to keep it pristine. You know, this is my car show car. But then you start to neglect it, like forget how nice it really is and how unique it is. I know how unique it is, but you just don't drive it. I just don't drive as much anymore. Uh, what do I drive all the time? The SL55 and I drive the G-Wagon. Uh, I drive those probably more than anything else. But you have to sometimes just pull it out. Uh, appreciate what you have, drive it. Uh, I put a lot of work and a lot of money, a lot of time, blood, sweat, and tears into this car. And uh, I forgot how nice it really is. So I drove it to the firehouse uh, this morning. And uh, man, I'm like, oh, I remember why I love this car. There's nothing else like it, I swear. I mean, even the standard CL is a unique car. But man, when you have all this power, and then remember, it's similar to the S-Class chassis, so it's smooth. It gets up to 100 miles per hour like nothing, but it's so smooth that you don't even realize how fast you're going. Now, this has a lot of upgrades to it. The boiler exhaust, the uh, MBH log tube headers, the stage two tune, a whole lot of stuff, man. Whole lot of stuff. It's powerful. It's powerful. So powerful that, well, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's like it's, a part of me is scared to drive it because I don't want anything to happen to it. This thing is really, really, really a nice car. If you have a Mercedes from the early 2000s, you understand. But if you have a CL from the early 2000s, you really understand. This thing is incredible. And this is the AMG compressor motor, uh, smaller uh, supercharger pulley, um, cat delete, resonator delete, uh, boiler mufflers, like I said, MBH log tube headers, stays too tuned, uh, wide body kit. I ordered from Poland and then I did all the work. Uh, you have to refinish everything and then uh, cut the fenders, blend it into the aluminum. Uh, you have magnesium doors, uh, aluminum body, um, a blend. The trunk is like a, a blend of uh, fiberglass and some type of plastic mix. Um, so everything now is fiberglass. The rear quarter panel, um, this lower half is fiberglass. This is aluminum. Uh, fiberglass bumper, side skirts is fiberglass. This right here, fiberglass fenders, fiberglass hood, bumper. Uh, so this is already a heavy vehicle, but I actually lighten it up a lot by doing that. Uh, it gives it a, a look, a unique look, a wide body, a, a stance, like nothing else on the road. Uh, you have the wide wheels. Those are 10, I'm sorry, 20 by 10 and a half in the front. MB, uh, MB design, uh, fond metal, KV-1s. These are 20 by 12s in the back. Um, a 305 tire. Yeah, you could probably... With these rims, you can do a 345, but I don't. I like to stretch my tire so that I can uh, pull the rim out as far as possible, give it the widest stance as possible, and have it as low as possible without it catching uh, my fenders and tearing them up. Because again, this is fiberglass. So you don't want tires to catch this. So you want to stretch the tire and have the rim sticking out as far as possible. Uh, just drive careful. Just don't bang up your lips, you know? Uh, just understand that you have a wider setup, so it's going to handle better. Uh, it's going to be more stable, uh, good enough traction. 305 is plenty of traction in the rear. Uh, this right now is sitting with what, like 600 horsepower. Uh, this is a very, very, very nice car, very unique car. Uh, one of the best cars I've ever seen on the road. There's a lot of cars, a lot of nice cars out there, of course, but this is unique. All right. You can't just go to the dealership and buy this. Um, uh, anyone who has a wide body here in the United States, they want good money for them. Um, and if it's a wide body AMG, they really want some good money for it. Online, there's somebody putting together a CL65 wide body. Now you're talking about something. You know, these cars are incredible. Um, but to have and own something this nice really uh, feels good. Uh, it's a unique vehicle. It, 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 it's... Any car show I have taken this thing to over the years, man, I'm telling you, crazy, you know, crazy. Because most cars that people have, they can just buy at a dealership. Most people uh, have who have nice cars, somebody else can buy that same car. But when you customize and modify your car, no matter what it is, it makes it that much better. 
right? So it's good. It feels good to have something that nobody else has. So here in the United States, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nobody else has this. There's only a few of these in the United States anyways, the wide body kits. So, you know, know what you have, appreciate what you have. I don't take this for granted. Um, like I said, I barely drive it, but it really felt good today to pull this thing out and drive it here to the firehouse. Very, very, very nice car. This car has really put really my brand on the map. Uh, YouTube has gone crazy because of this car. Um, it has drawn a lot of attention and I appreciate that. So I'm going to keep on. Uh, let, me, oh, let me go ahead and open up the interior. Let me show you guys what the inside looks like. Hold on. Yeah. Very clean, good condition, upgraded audio. Soft suction doors. There you go. Yeah, this thing is beautiful, man. I love this car. So we have here the SCAR um, subwoofers. These are the heaviest, biggest, baddest subwoofers that SCAR makes, 12 inch. Uh, with the ZX2500.1 uh, old school kicker amp. This thing is incredible and powerful, man. Uh, this thing bangs. I mean, it's just a lot of raw power back here. I love this car, man. I love it. So, yeah. If you own something that's nice, man, take care of it. Something that's custom and unique like this. Uh, it's a beautiful car, man. I love this thing. Um, just a lot of features, a lot of luxury. Uh, they really did their thing back when they designed this car. You know, it even has the massage seats. Um, it's just a lot. Heated, cool seats. Um, this is just a bad boy, man. This is just a nice, comfortable, powerful car. Got the fold mirrors. It's just, it's just cool, man. This is just a really cool car. A lot of souped up, modified, customized cars don't have all the luxury that these Mercedes offer. See, so when you, when you, when you trick out or or customize something that's already luxury and unique. It just makes it that much more uh, unique, that much more special, that much more wonderful to have, to own. So this is the unique, one of a kind, wide body CL55 that I personally built, customized, designed, uh, and I own, and I love it. I've had a lot of offers for this car, but I'll never sell it. I'll never sell it. So love what you have, guys. Take care of it, and it'll take care of you. Go to my auto works. Peace out.